Hello there, it's my name is Conanspot and welcome to the How to Mod Luxor tutorial series. So as the name implies, this tutorial series will teach you how to mod a Luxor game. So the reason I'm making this series of videos is because um, there is actually currently no comprehensive tutorial out there on the internet on how to mod a Luxor game. The game you're seeing here is a mod called Colombian Luxor Scepter made by me. I actually had to learn all of this from scratch, near everything from scratch. And let me tell you, it was not a fun experience, so do you want a mod Luxor? Well, you're in luck, because I'm gonna teach you almost everything I know about modding Luxor. So you basically get a shortcut, lads, you basically get a shortcut. So, do you want to make the next Luxor mod 2016? The next community-made Luxor mod? Well, stay tuned and find out, because soon, I'll be teaching you nearly everything I know about the series. But let's not jump the gun. The very first tutorial I'm gonna have of the entire How to Mod Luxor series is a list of essential software that you should get to make your modding life much, much more efficient, and hence easier. So, without further ado, the most important piece of software that you need to get to mod Luxor. The game Luxor. Come on, what do you expect? You can't really mod the game without the game. So you should have either Luxor 1 or Luxor Amun Rising. There are ways to get the game. This is BigFish.com. Uh, I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. It just, it's just one of the websites that sell this game. It goes for about 10, 10 US dollars. Um, I highly recommend you to not get the Steam version of the game because we will be modding the game Luxor and I'm not sure if Steam Guard or whatever will detect changes and start going spastic because it's Steam. So I highly recommend you, if you really need to get the game, get it from an online retailer that is not Steam. I actually personally have a physical copy of the game. If you can find a physical copy of the game, like my country still sells it in the freaking bookstore for $20, then go ahead, that's another possibility. I recommend Amun Rising over Luxor 1 for reasons we will discuss in the next video. The next important piece of software I'm gonna ask you guys to get is a graphics manipulation software. Basically any software, like you see Paint.net or Jim. Uh, for the sake of this uh, series, I will be using Jim because I am much more proficient at Jim GNU image manipulation software. You can download basically any software you want. Paint.net, Jim, even Adobe Photoshop if you're really really proficient at it and you don't really need my help at it. <laughs> Which, if you're using Photoshop, you really should be better than me at this sort of stuff in the first place. This is Jim. This is how Jim looks like. Uh, the version you you may have downloaded may look like the, the, the different from the version I currently have right now. That's because I love Jim 2.6 and I personally think the new version is a piece of crap. So they may be differences, but uh, I hope it won't affect it too much. So you can do a lot of fancy stuff with Jim. Like you see, this is the level doubles with Khufu and me messing around with it and stuff. So yeah, you can also trace paths in, in Jim. We'll go more into this in the respective videos. Next software I recommend you get is a rich text editor. Like for example, the, the software I'm gonna recommend is Notepad++ for Windows. For Mac users, I recommend WordPad, WordPad for Mac. So the reason that I'm going to uh, use Notepad++ is as our default editor instead of say Notepad or the default Windows text editor will become apparent in the next few episodes. It will become apparent. I highly recommend this software, especially, especially when you have to start typing in variables and all sorts of other nonsense. It will become very apparent why we use this software in a little bit. Here is Notepad++, so basically it will be basically used as our main text editor to edit all sorts of fun things. Again, the reason we use it is because as you can see, it's very, very easy to just open the file you want just if you right-click with Windows. This is Audacity. Audacity is a uh, audio editor. So basically, we'll be using this for uh, sound effects and music, basically. Audacity is um, free. In fact, all the softwares I recommended to you were free except Adobe Photoshop. So really, you don't have to pay anything for any of these software. This is Audacity. It's pretty much the, uh, as I mentioned, music 
this is how Audacity looks like. Uh, what we'll probably be doing is uh, messing around with music a little bit in Audacity. So your mod can stand out a bit differently. God, that's creepy past up material. Okay, stop. This is Quick BMS. Uh, this is a very, very important software written by uh, Luigi Arumema. The link is in the description. In fact, all the links are in the description. Pay very, very close attention to what I'm about to do here. You should download the software, and while you're downloading it, scroll down into this huge, 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 huge list of uh source files and download mumbo jumbo right click and click save link as and download the bms file as well i'll be going over this in the next video it should be the next how to mod luxor video because this is how we will be unpacking luxor files because mumbo jumbo has uh, packed all of their luxor assets so if we want to mod them we have to unpack them oh my gosh my download speed Last but not least, one final piece of software to install. This is the Spear Matches site. It is basically the, uh, um, how would I call this? The definitive Marvel Popper forum site. It's only one anyway. So click on Browse Mods and a scroll down of this huge, huge, huge list of mods and select Nocturnal Hour Divertis Editor. This is my personal software that I made myself for making lots of parts. Download the latest version. The latest version right now is version 1.25. I'll probably have a newer version later on to be released with the and the rest of the How to Mod Lux or video. So uh, keep this in mind. We will be downloading Node and I'll show you guys how Node looks like in a second. And last but not least, uh, no, Nocturnal Hour Devils Editor. With this software, we'll be learning all sorts of fancy, fancy stuff like basically how to uh, make paths and whatever. So yes, now you have all the softwares needed to make a path. Uh, in the next video, I'll be going through on how to unpack uh, the Luxor data files and I'll see you guys then. Yeah, I hope you have basically gotten an understanding on the software required to use mod Luxor. It, it's gonna be more than this, believe me, it is a tough road. But don't worry, stick around and hopefully uh, you guys can make a Luxor mod yourself too that you can be proud of. We do not want to see any more uh, graphics mods on the forums. Trust me, some people get really really triggered by this.